Hey everybody, it's just a one take or short video. I haven't filmed for a couple of days. I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit. We're getting ready to leave, getting the truck all set up. I gotta go hook onto a trailer, see if I can find myself a 53 foot step deck. I'll settle for a 53 foot flat if I have to. And then I'm gonna head over to Kenora, two hours east of where I am, and grab a load there in the morning, which will probably take me down into Minnesota. We'll find out in the morning. For now, I'm just trying to set up Old Blue here and get all ready. I've had a great couple of days at home. We've, uh, I've been working on the nursery, got the nursery all painted. We got the stroller set up or the jogger, whatever you want to call it. We got a big one with like big wheels on it so that it's easy to push through the snow. Uh, the crib came in, I'm setting that up next, next time I'm home. I set up uh, the toy box, it's got a little Sesame Street toy box, set that up. Uh, what else have we done? We got a nice lamp for his room, I had to set that up. So it was busy. I'm not a professional painter, so it takes me a little longer than the professional. So it took me, it took me a while to, to paint it all. I painted the ceiling, then I painted the, the walls, and then I painted the baseboards. And I painted some of the floor, but that was fixable. Just putting my uh, computer in where it's safe. I don't know where my computer case is. I left it somewhere at home, I guess. So I'll have to strap it in here where it's safe. Everything's set up, at least in its place for now. I'm gonna rush over and get that trailer, rush over to Kenora Park, so that then I'll organize everything. It's always such a task. I like everything to be in its place and all neat and organized. It's gotta be, everything has its place. And it always takes me forever to unload everything and bring it all home, wash it all with all my floor towels, my bedding, my laundry. And then to bring it back to the truck, it's like setting up the whole truck again. I'm not complaining, just uh, I'm just saying that it's a bit of a process, it takes me some time. I always have to give myself an extra two hours at the end of my trip and at the beginning of my trip to get everything into my truck and put into place. And that's not even organizing it, that's just getting everything in here neat and organized. I mean like neat and uh, clean I mean and I stop later and organize it but whatever I know get my trailer let's go let's go and find a trailer first we got to get let in the gate open says me Fine, I'll show you my ID. Open says me. All right, open sesame, sesame, whatever. Maybe I said it wrong. I don't know, that's why. It's gotta be a trailer in the back there somewhere for us. guys on the road. Lots of trucks are gone. Everybody's busy. This is that nice western star. It's been sitting here for a long time. I wonder if he's on holidays. What happened? Hope he's all right. Like it's been there for a few weeks already. I really like that truck. I met the driver a couple of times. He's a good guy. Let's find us a trailer. There's a flatbed straight in front of me there already. I want a step deck. I like them better. I saw one over here. I saw you hiding over here. Oh, you're one of those. You're one of those. Oh, 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 oh. No, there's a good step deck over here. 125D. You want to be my friend?
these brakes on this, on this trailer aren't frozen. I love starting off the week with a clean truck. So here's our trailer. I'm just going to get this snow off of here so it doesn't fly through one of your windshields as I take off. Then I'm going to go to Kenora, Ontario, spend the night there, wake up in the morning, load up some lumber, we're going to tarp it, and head down to Minneapolis, uh, not Minneapolis, to Minnesota. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm assuming anyways. I mean, that's usually what I do when I go there. But it might be different, you never know. Uh, little bit nipply out there. As you may have put together, this is a little bit more than a one-take vlog. I hate doing just one-take vlogs, but uh, sometimes it's all I got time for. Today, I got time for a little more. It's just there's there's no daylight out, so I can't really show you any footage of the road or scenery. But you've seen it a thousand times, right? If you've been watching my channel long enough, you sure have. Spoiler alert! It's all flat. You're not missing anything. Except for into Ontario, it gets a little bit interesting, but you've seen it before. You'll see it in the morning. That's why you're going to go down below this video, hit the subscribe button, so that you don't miss tomorrow's video. So tomorrow there will be more scenery. <clears throat> yeah, ready to go trucking. Oh, Blue, it's been like four days. Did you miss me? Did you? Oh, she... Of course you did. Put you right there for now. I'll clean you up later. <coughs> That's a lie. I'm gonna clean it up right now. I don't want mess. Hang you up in your closet where you belong. You dirty jacket. If I showed you the closets back here before, I think I have, right? I don't know if you can see it right now. It's pretty dark. Eh, a little closet in here to hang stuff, right? You grab the hanger, you hang her up. For those of you who don't drive truck, you've never been in a truck, you're wondering where do you put your jackets and stuff, and all your shirts and clothes. You put it in the closet, of course, just like at home. Just a little bit of a smaller closet, but it works, eh? There you go. All right, I gotta enter in my pre-trip because I finished my pre-trip and I have to put all my information in. What that does is it tells the government that I certify this truck as safe and trailer, as safe for operation on public highways. That way, if anything goes wrong and it's something that I missed, it's my fault. Because I told the government it was safe and good to go. And if I get on the road and the wheel flies off, they're looking at me. Because I told them right here, I told them it's all good to go. There shouldn't be any tires flying off this time never happened to me before but go on YouTube you'll see it it happens do your free trips it's not for your safety it's for other safety it's for your peace of mind if tire flies off I'll be just fine Maybe unless it's my steer tire depending on how much traffic's around me but chances are I'll be just fine chances are the oncoming vehicle that it's gonna smash into will not be fine okay that that be a bad day for them bad day for me an even worse day for them got to make sure that our equipment is safe so whenever you see if you're not a truck driver and you see trucks driving down the road and they look a little bit a little bit sketchy a little bit unsafe you see something hanging off the back scraping along the highway that's the driver's fault well he has to by law check that truck before he gets on the highway <coughs> Now you got to give people a little bit of slack because sometimes things break while you're on the highway and you got to pull over and fix it. It's, it's, but it's not all related to a pre-trip, but a pre-trip will prevent a lot of trouble for everybody involved. I'm not trying to preach at you. Most of you drive truck. Who watch me, most of you have drive, driven truck in the past or you're driving truck or you're in school to drive truck. So you know all this stuff, but I got a pretty big audience, so I'm speaking to those people out there that don't drive trucks. So I, I try to fill them in on a little bit of what we do day, day to day, right? From from my perspective, 
through my eyes. And once again, I'm gonna give you a friendly reminder that uh, beware of scammers in my comment sections. I try to take care of all of them as fast as I can. They are persistent and they are annoying. They will use my profile picture and pretend to be me, and try to lure you to some site like Telegram or WhatsApp. I do not have a Telegram account. I have no Telegram presence at all. That is not me. They may approach you on different sites. I've heard people being approached on different websites claiming to be trucker drawers. They have my web, they have my profile picture and everything. It's not me. Okay, this is common for pretty much every YouTuber. It's just a big mess on YouTube right now that everyone's trying to deal with. So just, you know, be internet smart. Be cautious when people respond to you and it looks like I'm responding to you saying like, hey, come on, and find me over here. Make sure you look at the username closely, right? It says Trucker Josh Vlogs with a little checky mark. And then click on it and it should bring you to my YouTube page. <clears throat> if it doesn't, it's not me. Beware of scammers in the comment section down below. I'll try to catch them, but uh, you know, they're still gonna be there. They're still gonna try to scam you out of, I've, I've heard of them scamming people before. They're gonna try to ask you for money. They're gonna make some kind of proposal to you. They're gonna persuade, try to persuade you that they're me. Just heads up, be aware, just report them. That's all we can do. It's very annoying when there's people out there trying to rip off other people masquerading and impersonating other people to do so instead of just getting a job you know so I'm very happy to report that when I hooked onto my trailer none of the wheels were frozen none of the brakes were frozen it's fantastic it's a good day I didn't have to climb underneath there and bang on them in the freezing cold Somebody parked that trailer properly, so a big thank you to whoever did that. You let the brakes cool down first before spiking them and unhooking. Okay, so it's gonna be nighttime. I will talk to you when we get to Kenora. It's about a two hour drive east. Is Kate gonna let me out? Let me out? Okay, good, good. For a second there I thought that I was gonna be stuck here. No, no, Trucker Josh, you're staying here with us. I want to go trucking. Oh, it's only a two hour drive, but I'm tired. It's late. It is late. I'm going to sleep right here tomorrow morning. We're going to wake up in the exact same spot and I'll see you in that video. So don't forget to go down below the video, hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Uh, if you're down there as well, hit that like button helps me out a lot. If you did like the video shows me that you appreciate it, that you want another one. Leave me a comment down below. Say hello. And I'll talk to you later. Sorry, today was a bit of a, a shorter vlog. Not much to share. But, like I said, there's another one coming tomorrow. I'll see you then.